glasses aren't gonna work I'll use it as a hairband hi guys hello how are we doing it's very bright so I do apologize in advance if I'm squinting guess who again has given in to the sales technique of a massive activewear company and therefore has spent hundreds and hundreds of pounds unnecessarily on activewear me this gal yep You guessed it. I mean, you may have guessed it by the very obvious thumbnail and title, but Alphalete had a new drop. They had sales, they had discounts. I'm like, oh, if they have a discount and if they have sales, obviously that justifies me spending 171 pounds. I didn't think tactically at all. You know, I was there on my computer, refreshing, refreshing, refreshing until it hit 4 p.m to get the stuff that I wanted, but I got stressed. <laughs> I got a bit overwhelmed. I got stressed. Realistically, all I wanted was one pair of black leggings and the men's um, Proud But Never Satisfied hoodie in like a small, so it's like a little bit baggy. Um, and I didn't do that. I got nervous and just like, oh, I'll have that, I'll have that, go, go, go. And then as the day continued, I then got continually stressed and continually anxious at the fact that I did actually end up getting the hoodie. And I ended up just getting a load of other things. They're beautiful, but to me, I need to make sure I love every single one of these to absolute death to justify the fact that I've spent... How much was it even? So I bought 171 pounds and 59 pence worth of products, which is one, two, three, four, five, five things. Five things. By the way, I bought my Alphalete. I have actually kind of tried Alphalete really briefly. Um, last Body Power in May, I ended up staying with Brittany and Brandon. And Brittany very kindly offered me, um, I think it was like the purple crop and the shorts for like pajamas. Um, Cause I was staying with them and I had a panic attack of the night out and they were looking after me. Thank you guys. But yeah, I tried them. I think I took a photo, I think. Does that still exist? Either way, I got very excited cause I was in Alphalete and I was like, oh. So now I actually decided to buy it for myself and I am excited. I am excited. But yeah, I am going to cut this bag very, very carefully. I think the biggest thing for me is the fact that I bought colour. And this is why I'm overthinking about why the hell did I do that? Because uh, I try to be colourful. Like I like black, grey, and that's it. I'm just so excited about this. So seeing the Alpha Lux being released, which is a new thing for Alphalete, and seeing the Alphalete athletes try them on, it really did tickle my fancy, like more so than anything else ever has. It just looks really beautiful and really luxurious, and I, oh, I just had to. So I think for me, because they were a little bit more unique, a bit different, I think nowadays activewear and, you know, that whole kind of industry is so saturated because it's so much and it's so, it's like dominating the whole existence of society, the fitness industry and things. So these looked really different and I, I like that. So this is, oh my gosh, this is my first Alphalete, what the hell? This is the Alphalete Alpha Lux. Um, make sure I'm getting it right. Elite bra in raspberry and I got everything in small like literally everything and I'm very excited to try that on But I will try them on with the leggings. So let me grab them. Oh my gosh red leggings Okay, please say these suit me. I think the more that I've grown into activewear the more that I've used it I know I really like really high waist things. I'm generally a long human But my waist goes in quite a bit. So I want the leggings to go up to that. So I feel keeps you all together. And obviously these have a really long kind of waistband. I'm gonna try these on. Oh my gosh. Please like them. Please like them. But then also, this is so I have so many mixed emotions. <laughs> Leggings fit 
an absolute dream. For once, the leggings actually come down to my ankles and actually fit the whole way. Leggings fit so lovely, that waist is so perfect. Like, the way it comes in, love it. Unfortunately, the sports bra is surprisingly too big. I've actually gone up, not cup sizes, but up width sizes with bras recently. I've had to have fittings because I find it's quite funny actually. My lats have grown, so the circumference is a lot bigger now, and I've had it about four inches. I reckon it's extra small would be too small then, but it's that gapes a little bit too much. That's my boob there, like it should really be in, but I think I feel like I should have gone down, really. But as I said, the back is so lovely and it's so different. Yeah, it's just, it's really unfortunate because it is really loose and I don't feel like I could get an intense workout in without having to like hoist it back up every second. So that's a bit disappointing, but I know that now for next time if I ever do a shop that I go for extra small. Okay, next. This is what I only really wanted. Just this. Instead I've got an abundance of other things. Either way, it's the Alpha Lux leggings in the black because you can't go wrong with black and also I've got one state. It's like, do you have a favorite legging? And I feel like my ratio of favorite leggings are coming more and more because I'm coming more particular and my style of training is changing in the sense that I feel like these support that kind of workout and da 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 da. So I want to find another staple black legging and this is why I got the Alpha Leap. Alpha Leap? Alpha Lux in the black too. Oh, these got the pockets as well. I used to have a pair of leggings. Um, Lululemon's actually sent me uh, some leggings two years ago. How that happened, I don't know. Um, but I mixed up US and UK sizes, so they were way too big. Um, and they had pockets. I got really excited about that, but I, I couldn't use them because obviously they were way too big for me. So now I've got pockets again. Okay, they're the black ones. Fingers crossed they work out. I bought the black leggings in addition to the red leggings. I love these! I think these are definitely going to be a stable. I feel like these will probably end up being leggings that I'll wear 24-7, not just only in the gym, but just out on my day-to-day -day life. They do fit a bit tighter, but that's what everyone says. Because of the ink, I think the product itself shrinks a little bit. But in a way, I feel like it fits better. But then I know over time it's going to loosen, so it's almost nicer to know that it's really tight now. That So, in, do, you, do you get my logic? Do you know what I mean? I also got a tank. I think for my, I'm quite pale complexion and I feel like this may either work or not at all. God, I wish I got the bloody black crop top now as well. See this, I didn't think, I got excited and I just went for far too many things at one time without even thinking of it. I like this kind of style. I like having my back exposed. I like having my arms exposed. I feel like my arms are, uh, how can I say this without sounding like a self-absorbed idiot? I think my arms are doing good. I think I'm getting some muscle. I think they're looking okay. And I quite like having the V to show them off because I like my shoulders. Shut up. I like my shoulders, okay? Don't judge. I was just going to try this on with this, but because this is, these straps come there, shall I just put a different sport, get a bit different sports bar on and I'll be back. Right, so I've gone for a classy little, my protein, just simple, so I've got the back exposed, so the top looks okay. See, I just feel like black on black just looks better than anything. Ooh, that's quite tight. Ooh, that's very tight. That's very short. Ooh. Do you know what? That wasn't what I was expecting it to be. I was expecting it to be a lot loose fitting and come down a bit. Ooh, I'm not sure. I really like the colour. I would keep it, but it is like a little bit too small actually. Um, you can see it really is quite tight. Oh, I really like it, but I think just because it's a little bit too small and considering the rate of growth that I'm doing right now, I don't know whether it would fit me next week. <laughs> I'm on roids, guys. I wanted to get one hoodie, 
which I was getting the Proud of an Eversatz vibe because one, I love that kind of quote and I love the fact that it's in the gym itself and it's just a quintessential Alphalete piece. Um, but then I also saw, I think it was Caroline, she was wearing these and it's a cropped zip hoodie and it just looks so bloody cosy. Oh, it just looks like a hug and you single gal wants a hug every once in a while, you know? <laughs> there you go. Right, I'll try that on as well and then see how we do. but certainly not least, the grey, the light grey actually, capital crop hoodie. The inside is fleecy and soft and cosy. There's a hood so you can be more cosy. I like being cosy if that it wasn't evident prior. The toggles look like earphones, which I find really funny because the small things in life amuse me. And yeah, I really like this. I think with the leggings too, the waist to bum ratio with that, I'm not mad about it. I'm not mad about it. And there we are, my first Alphalete haul, done and bloody dusted. This is gonna be so hard to edit now, isn't it? Okay, I'm done, I'm not gonna do that again. Um, but no, Alphalete haul, done and dusted. All in all, I am very happy with what I got. I just need to think about certain things. But no, I'm really happy with the stuff that I've got. I'm really happy that I finally decided to take the plunge and purchase my first Alphalete order. I am very pleased with it. I love the company, I love the ethos, I love the whole brand, I love the whole athletes, and it's like a bit of fangirl moment now that I got Alphalete on, you know? I'm all cringy like that, you know? I am really happy with everything. It's really cozy and I'm happy and I don't wanna take it off now. And to cut the labels off because it's itching into my ass. But either way, I hope you guys have a nice day. I... I hope life is good for you. I hope right now you're doing good. I hope right now you're doing good. You're living your life. You're taking each moment for what it is because I've definitely been getting into a rut recently and thinking, what am I doing? Like, what the hell am I actually doing? Does my life have any purpose? Do I, am I, you know? And I'm just thinking, if I just live each day to the best of my abilities, surround myself with the people that make me smile, surround myself with the people that kind of remind myself that I am worthy, that I have value, that, you know, that I'm a good person, Do just do that and live each day by that motto that you're understanding and that you're ensuring that you're smiling every day and making every day worthwhile because life is bloody short. Um, and yeah, it's too short to not smile every day or not try to smile every day or not try to do something that makes you a happy person. Why have I gone on a little tangent? I don't know. I need to shut up. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you like and subscribe and comment down below what outfits you liked and what products you liked. Um, and yeah, I will see you soon. Believe in your own strength and keep smiling. I will see you next time. Bye. Whoa, that was such a cheesy ending.